Did President Trump refuse to condemn white supremacy? That is the headline you will read from the mainstream media. That is the post-debate narrative coming from the Democrats. But is it true? No, it's not true. It's a lie. President Trump did not refuse to condemn white supremacy. Let's look at the facts. Four things can be true all at once. And in this case, they are. First of all, it was a stupid question from Chris Wallace asking Trump, are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? It was stupid because President Trump has condemned white supremacy many, many times before. In fact, Chris Wallace himself asked President Trump this very same question in 2016. And President Trump unequivocally condemned white supremacy then. Watch. I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. I've been doing it now for two weeks. This is, you're probably about the 18th person that's asked me the question. It was very clear. That question was also talked about in the form of groups, groups. I want to know which groups are you talking about? You have to tell me which groups. Ultimately, he got to the Ku Klux Klan, which obviously I'm going to disavow. And by the way, if you look on my Twitter account, almost immediately after the program, they were disavowed again. You know, it's amazing. When I do something on Twitter, everybody picks it up, goes all over the place. But when I did this one, nobody ever picks it up. Take a look at my Twitter account. Then, during the presidential debate this week, when Chris Wallace asked him again, President Trump again condemned white supremacists multiple times. Listen. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, but do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, 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 you, you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White proud supremacists boys. and right proud boys. Stand back and stand by. And before any leftists take issue with the phrase stand back, Chris Wallace specifically asked President Trump to use the phrase stand down. Thirdly, if Trump's answer sounded cagey, it's because it was. But not because Trump is sympathetic to white supremacists. Trump was being cagey because leftists like to pretend that all right-wing groups, even mainstream conservatives, are racist or white supremacist. So President Trump clarified who Wallace was talking about specifically because Trump has to do that. He can't accept the false premise that Trump supporters in general are white nationalists, because that's false. Finally, was there a better way to answer the question? Well, yeah, Trump should have repeated it back like this. Do I unequivocally condemn white supremacy and white nationalism? Yes. Do I also unequivocally condemn black nationalism and Marxism, which are the core values of the Black Lives Matter movement and Antifa who are destroying our cities with violence? Yes. Trump then should have said, the question is, does Joe Biden do the same? Will Joe Biden condemn the black nationalism and Marxism the Black Lives Matter movement is built on? That would have been a better answer from Trump. So this whole media firestorm is really two questions. Did President Trump refuse to condemn white supremacy? And should he have answered differently? The problem is, the mainstream media and the left are so dishonest, we can't have the latter conversation productively because we're too busy debunking the lies peddled by leftists in the media. But the truth is, Wallace asked, are you willing to condemn white supremacists? Trump replied, sure. Wallace said, and to say that they need to stand down. And Trump again replied, sure, I'm prepared to do that, give me a name. Then Biden jumps in with the name Proud Boys. And Trump says, Proud Boys, stand back and stand by. That is the truth. The mainstream media is lying.